and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to make this really cool granny stitch hat. If you use it with a worsted weight, an aran or a 10 ply yarn it will become a slouchy. Just turn her around. We've got the gorgeous colours on the back and these colours were picked because of a lady I've met through Jan Crothers' videos called Sue and she loves purple and green so here she was my inspiration for these colours. So we've got a slouch hat if you use it with a thicker yarn and if we use a DK or an 8 ply yarn it will fit an adult size head and it won't be slouchy it will be firm fitting. So we've used rounds of single crochet on the edging you can do as many as you like of those and of course you can adjust the amount of rounds of the granny stitch that you do. There is a free written pattern for this hat it is located on my website and I will put the link that you need in the description. The yarn we are using in this video is from redheart.com. Redheart.com is a great place for inspiration as well as buying this beautiful yarn. They have yarn in so many different colours and weights. So go and check them out. They are also a great place for free patterns for your next project. So let's get started on the lesson. For our supplies we will need a yarn needle with a large eye. We're going to need a pair of scissors, a crochet hook to go with your yarn. I will be using worsted weight or an aran or a templar yarn and I usually use a 5mm or a H size hook. You can use a 5.5 or an eye hook if that's what you prefer. I am using Red Heart Super Saver yarn and this is a category 4 or a medium worsted and it recommends a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I am using medium purple, lavender and spring green for my colors. You can also use 8 ply yarn and I would recommend using a G or a four millimeter crochet hook. Of course if you use a different size crochet hook or yarn you can get bigger or smaller hats. So to begin our hat we start with a magic ring or you can chain four and join. If you find the chain four is too small you can chain five or six if you like to do that because we do need to fit six lots of three double crochet in there. I'll show you what I mean. You need to fit six lots in the center so you may need to chain five or six. So I will be using a magic ring for mine. And we want to work a beginning shell and to work our beginning shell we make a chain three and work two double crochet into the middle of the ring. Going to assume that you know how to do a double crochet. Chain one and then work three double crochet into the middle. And the three double crochet is going to be called our shell. So all together we need six shells. We've got one, two, so we're separating with a chain one, we need six all together. So we need three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet chain one so we've got one two three four we need six all together So 
So just double check, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And each round of the shells we join with a slip stitch to the first chain three and we join up in the third chain which is the top of the chain three. So we're working a slip stitch to join. And I will be changing colour each round. If you don't want to change colour, you slip stitch into the next two stitches and into the next space. So you go through, work slip stitch, go through the top of the double crochet and in the space. But I want to change colour so I'm going to pull that out and cut that off. We always use, sorry, always leave about three inches of yarn. So you've got enough to sew in. Into the next space, we're going to join our new colour. And I will be using the medium purple. I just need to grab some yarn. that on our crochet hook and we're going to chain three and work our beginning shell so into that same space we're going to work two double crochet Into each chain one space around, we're going to work an increase. So an increase is a shell, a chain one, and a shell in the exact same space that we just did the other one in. And we're going to repeat this around. So I've got my chain one space there. Into the next chain one space, work three double crochet. chain one and three double crochet and we're going to repeat this around so that was an increase we're going to work an increase in every chain one space around and pause the video and I'll meet you when we are ready to join once we are well <laughs> <laughs> Once we are ready to join, and the camera doesn't fall, we're going to join into the top of the chain three with a slip stitch. And then if you're going to use the same colour, you're going to slip stitch across. If not, you are just going to join your colour in the same in that space there. I've already cut my yarn. Um, I've had to refill this row so that's why it's already cut. So we're going to slip stitch across to the next space or join in your collar. So we're going to do our beginning shell so it's a chain three and two double crochet in the same space. And into the next space here, between our increases from the previous round, we're going to work an increase. And that's three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. That's what that looks like there. And then into the next chain one space we're going to work three double crochet. We're going to repeat this around into the next space we're going to work an increase. So it's three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. 
and we're going to repeat this around and I will meet you when we are ready to join. So when we are ready to join, we're going to join into the top of the chain three. And I've already cut my yarn because I'd already redone this round already. So this is round two that I've done, second time. So we're going to make a slip stitch and then fasten off. And that's what this will look like. So we're going to join in the next colour. And do our beginning shell. And I'm just looking at my pattern. And we want to do another shell, so we're going to go into the next chain one space. And then into the next space, we're going to work an increase. So we've got shell, shell, increase, and we're going to repeat this all the way around. So, shell. Sorry, guys, my yarn keeps getting stuck. It's really frustrating. Okay, so shell. That's our second one, and then we'd work an increase into the next space. Chain one. So it's shell, shell, increase, shell, shell, increase, all the way around. And I won't show you how to join on this round because we've well, already done it three times, so you know how to do that by now. And it will ruffle a little bit, but that's fine. It will work its uh, bleh, start again. It will work itself out when we have finished the hat. So pause video, and I'll meet you when we're ready for the next round. So I'm going to change colour. So I'm going to cut my yarn, and you'll see it's kind of got points. But this is just the nature of the beast because the way we increase when we do a granny stitch. So my next colour is. medium purple there's the end gone so we're going to join this in and this is the end just making sure my pattern this is the end of our increasing so now it's the easy part we don't have to think about it too much so joining our yarn Do our beginning shell, so chain three, and then do two double crochet into each space around. We are going to work a shell. So at every space and chain one space, that's what we're going to do. Now I apologise if I sound anxious or nervous, but at this time of filming, Australia has two cyclones. One in the Northern Territory, which is right up the top, and one over Queensland, which is on the east coast of Australia. And one of my really good friends, school friend, been friends for ages, long time, um, she's right at this moment going through cyclone marcia and they did predict winds up to 300 kilometers an hour at category five but it has been downgraded to category four but that's still crazy stuff so i'm trying to film to keep my mind off things 
I have Facebook running, she's been updating that at least so I can at least know what's going on. As you could imagine, it's a bit scary. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a shell in every stitch around and I will meet you when we're ready for the next round. So pause the video, I'll see you in just a moment. So I've completed that round, I'm going to join in my new colour. And we're going to do exactly what we did on the previous round. Oops. And put one shell in every space around. And we will continue to do this for the size of the hat. Get on there. And I'm not sure how many rounds I'm going to do because I have, haven't actually made this hat in the worsted weight yarn yet. So in the next video clip it will show you how many rounds I've done. I will tell you how many I've done. If you're using this video for the double knit yarn, so this will be the adult version. Um, I'll just show you the yellow version. If I can put it in the screen. Not really. So this is the adult version and that is just a, a um, tight fitting beanie like a normal um, hugs to your head beanie. Then you'll just follow on and and do your rounds of edging the same but when we get to our slouchy version which is this one using Aran weight or worsted weight or a Templar yarn then we're going to do a little bit different on the edging but I'll just show you that all in the in the next part of the um, video. Yep, anxiety's taken over and talking way too much. So I will see you in just a moment and you can see how many rounds that I've done. I'm making a slouchy version with the worsted weight yarn, but if you're using eight ply or double knit, you're going to be using probably more rounds. And on the yellow hat, I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 rounds of the 8 ply or double knit. And for my worsted weight, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 9, 13. I'll just double check. Yep, I've got 13 rounds. And this isn't long enough to be a hat because this would make quite a big hat actually. Let's just measure that going to make a hat of about 64 centimeters around so if you need it that size then add more rounds until you get the length that you need but I'm going to make this into a slouchy and to get it to fit this will not fit my head um, to get it to fit we need to decrease around here so the brim where we use our single crochets which are here that's when we're going to do our decreasing and everybody is going to be different. We're all going to have different tension. We may need it to fit a different size head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join my yarn into the middle double crochet that's there. So that's the second double crochet, crochet over three. I'm going to join my yarn in. Single crochet in the same stitch. When I get to the two stitches, that's the last one of this one and the first one of that one, I'm going to work a decrease. I'm going to go in, pull up a loop, keep the two on my crochet hook, go in the next one, pull up a loop, you've got three, yarn over and then pull through all three. So when I get to the middle one again, I'm going to work a single crochet. So now I'm up to my last and my first one of the shell so I'm going to decrease so in pull up in the next pull up and then pull through so I'm basically decreasing every second so the next one is just a single crochet and the next one is a decrease worked over the two stitches now like I say this may be too much decreasing for you or it may be not enough so I would work the first round, measure it, and if you need more you can decrease on the next round. If you need less you may have to take some of the decreases out and, and then um, even them up a bit. And you can do this for any hat pattern that you have that you want to make a slouchy. You just make it bigger 
than what you need it to fit your head but then you just decrease on the band. So repeat a round and I'll meet you when we're on to our next round. Once we have finished the round of decreasing we're going to join to the slip stitch so go through the sorry join to the single crochet go through the top and join with a slip stitch and this is a good fit for my head that I'm going to make it for and what we need to do now is chain one single crochet in the same space I cannot stress to you enough not to make your single crochet rounds um, too tight because if you do it will make your hat even smaller again I've just ripped out two rounds because that's just happened to me if you find you can't keep your tension a bit loose on your rounds of just single crochet I would suggest using a bigger size crochet hook and if you need to make it smaller you can make more decreases around I would highly recommend trying it or on or measuring it as you finish each round to make sure you've got it the right size and if you need to adjust it, if you need to make it smaller, add some more decreases to this round to the one we're doing now, so round two of the edging and if you've got it okay then you're good to go and you continue on with your just your single crochet in every stitch around, which is what I'm going to do because by sheer fluke that round, of, first round of decreasing was enough for me that normally doesn't happen, normally I have to play with it a bit the stars have aligned and got it right for once. So single crochet in every stitch around. We're going to join this round exactly the same. I'm going to put a stitch marker in just on that first stitch so I remember where it is just in case I'm not paying attention. And I'm going to work a few rounds of single crochet join the exact same way with a slip stitch into the first single crochet and pause the video and I'll meet you when we have the band done. Once we get to the end we're going to finish off and find our yarn needle and I always say my ends in on the inside of the work just go under a few loops and then stitch it under some stitches at the back of the work Then go back the other way, skip the first stitch, then work your way back across. And we want to work in all of our ends. If you've changed colour like me, you have quite a few to go. Where is the somewhere there's a bit I just cut off. Oh, it's inside the hat, I'll get it out later. So sew in all your ends and your hat is ready to go. I love this slouchy version. It doesn't look like a slouchy version here, but when when you put it on the, your head, it does slouch down. If you wanted to make it a longer slouch, you just add more rounds of the shell. So I want to thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Use my double knit version. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe as we have two videos every week here on Bob Wilson 123. If you would like to check out more of my videos, click on my username. That will take you straight to my channel. I hope you are having a great week. Thanks for watching and until next time, happy crochet.